Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we acquired the new Rogers 10-wheeler, built new express service, and in this as well as getting some new rolling stock and reaching the year 1900. And, one of our, one of our tasks, not going over for our $500 million loan, has also been achieved because now we are debt free. And in this episode, we're going to continue on expanding our operations and adding some new destinations, as well as embracing some new technology that will come our way. Before we'll get started, I want to basically replace some ancient vehicles. First of all, bus service C could basically, uh, let's see, where is that bus service located? Ah. It's located here in Kingsburg. Uh, I'm just gonna sell these four stagecoaches off and purchase a pair of these Mac buses. Paint them green and put them to work on this route. While that is going on, let's let's get started on replacing some of the vehicles on our freight trains. First of all, we need to replace the liquids on this train. We're going to replace the original tankers with the much more bigger variants that arrive in the same year. Basically, each 50 years in this game, you'll basically get a newer type of freight, freight car. So, the 1850 one is no longer needed, and the 1900 one is the much more usable. It has a higher speed capacity as well, which is basically very beneficial. We'll also replace this one carrying grain with these new boxcars. And let's see. Uh, the reefers will stay as they are, though I am going to basically add the new caboose to them. The only thing that's going to be changed is basically getting rid of these old gondolas. We'll replace them with a much more sturdier design. As well as replacing the cabooses on all of these three trains with the more modern variants. Let's see, caboose, red, all right, animal products, that's basically just the caboose, we are still carrying the fish in the reefer though. all right, processed goods. This one needs to have these replaced. 280. That means basically we'll need to increase the capacity of these now. Okay, we'll add these boxcars into place. I'm not so sure which one this is supposed to be for. Processed goods. Coffee beans. Right, because I think it takes, like, maybe one unit of uh, coffee berries to make coffee beans, I believe. Oh, it takes two, so that will basically make it a lot better. Uh, the reefer cars, which is carrying uh, meat, will stay as it is, but we're getting rid of that caboose. And this variant, D3, is being used to carry aluminum ore. Train 20, of course, is being used on that service. Because of the new gondolas that are coming, that are already out, we'll probably just replace them with the much more bigger boxcars and just have a half capacity for a full load. We'll add the caboose on the rear end of this one as well, as well as on this. 
And now let's take a look at the minerals. We'll probably keep the these pot hoppers for a while, but this gondol but these gondolas carrying bauxite need to go. They are too small for the capacity that we're carrying now. Especially since trains are gonna get much bigger, longer, and heavier, I need to make sure I have much cargo available. Okay, we'll invest in that. And let me see. Uh it's I know one of them is carrying sugar. Oh, this one has already been taken care of. Now, for the trains carrying... Oh! Well, we'll probably keep the small caboose. Okay, this is starting to get really annoying. I have to constantly replace this engine with this variant. Uh, hmm... Uh... Let me see, maybe I could just replace it with maybe another John Bull. No, I'll just keep it like this. Hopefully we might get a much better engine for this operation soon. Plus, oh, Blue Water City needs fuel and cigars. That's great. It's about time anyway. Uh, let me see. Was that supposed to be 25? I'm not so sure. I kind of forgot. We'll get the new cabooses in charge. For this one. This one. And this one. And that will basically do it for now. But we'll eventually get a new type of engine to replace the aging ones on my commuter trains. And we probably might get started on replacing the old shipping route between the copper ore mine and the copper smelting plant. According to the consumers, the only places it needs is either at the silverware factory or this war material factory. Well, I want to basically get a new shipping route first before we basically get started on replacing it. First of all, we're going to lay down a new shipping canal. Well, basically flatten the ground to basically connect to this lumber mill. This lumber mill will provide us traffic for a ship to carry lumber along the river to access this particular... Well, uh, is that actually the right level? Let me see. Uh... Maybe I should lower... I'm gonna try to match, match to this. And then just use the flattening tool to basically make it all level. Okay. Now with that out of the way, let's make it a large terminal. Place it here. Uh, oh, I don't want a passenger terminal. I need a cargo terminal. There we go. Lay down the road, and then connect it here. Now logs can be processed into lumber, and a ship will travel along the river to this machine factory. Now, according to consumers, the only two towns that need machinery is Black Diamond City and Woodsburg. And since lumber is going to be brought in by ship, the I probably only need is like a three-track station, 360 meter length, as it's only as one track is bringing in steel, the other two are bringing out the machinery. Let's see. We'll also need to connect to the steel mill, as since in the previous episode we connected to an iron ore mine. Now it's the time to also connect to the black diamond coal mine. Let's see. And we'll also need to replace this track with the standard variant with no catenary. Okay. Left. Go straight. Go left again. Go straight. And 
to that. Perfect. Also, we have new signals. These lower quadrants will basically be discontinued later on, so I want to at least try using as much of them as much as possible. But now with the coal mine connected, we can now get started on transporting coal and iron ore to the steel mill. Since there's basically four destinations that this coal, this steel mill is going to provide, I need to make sure there's plenty and plenty of room for this particular station. I'm also going to basically uh, make it a lot easier for my uh, trains to enter and exit this particular facility. All right. We'll also. Extend the track out a bit. Uh, let's see. Make a cross over here. And then the track will curve down the smelter. Wait, not the smelter, the steel. That's what I meant to say. That, that, this, and this. We'll extend this out a tiny bit. Do that, and do that. Do this. And that will basically be it for this particular area on this side. We'll probably uh, do that, I guess. I'm not so sure. And then I need to smooth this train out of it to make it a little. into this area. And that also reminds me, I gotta get started on also connecting this main line to this. So I can actually access on uh, making track that leads straight to the steel mill. Straight and do that. That, build a connection, and do it like this. Perfect. Now all we need to do is just place down the crossover pieces. Just this. And then basically get the ground all nice and leveled out. Then we'll need to rebuild the connection. There we go. Now all we'll just need to do is set up a couple of signals. We'll also need to set up the signals for the for the tracks leaning into the steep mill. will basically do it. Alright, now then, let's basically speed this game up and see what else we can try to do. Well, it's been a while, but I think it's about time that we start connecting into Woodsburg. 
we haven't had a plant chance to connect it to our network yet. Now, according to the destinations, uh... Well, the town has seen a bit of a small increase by the beginning of the new year to 65 residents. But, however, we need to get the town to grow much more better. We'll also need to start producing fruit juice. We need to also start producing champagne and also making fruit juice packages. As well as delivering lump logs to be processed into paper and paper into packaging cartons. Let's see. Turn the station around and then basically gently put this into place. Uh, collision. Uh, there we go. Much better. And since the station is also going to be used for bringing in cargo as well, I should at least... Do you, it's it possible the catchment rate is... This one will basically do a lot better. It has access to everything. Although the state freight station is on a bit of a higher level. But it's to be expected. Now then, Woodsburg. Well, get rid of the roofing, I mean, and basically start building a proper station in its place. That being with a much more oriented roof. on the new generation of stations. The commuter stations Well, keep them in shape. Okay, so let's see. We already used this. That one has already been used. And so is this. So we'll have to basically rely on this variant. The large classic station roof. Though I normally prefer saving these when it's the 19, when the new second era station comes out. But beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. This will be known as Woodsburg Central Terminal, and the freight yard will be known as Woodsburg Siding. Which reminds me, I also gotta get rid of the aging buildings too. Like, I need to replace it with this particular design, and replace it with the emptier version. I didn't mean to click on warnings. I didn't mean to misplace that last one. Alright. Woodsburg Sightings is now finished. And I think we might be able to get ourselves a new locomotive in just a moment. That. Uh, yep! The 442 Atlantic. Now, this Atlantic is a little bit different from the original. Originally, the first generation of this type was actually based off of a Great Northern K2 class Atlantic. But now, with the recent updates to the game, it's now become similar to ones that were used on the Cotton Belt. Plus, since this passenger train is now basically going to be hauled by a much more faster and stronger locomotive, I think it's time to upgrade its equipment. So, this passenger train will have a full set of passenger coaches, as well as this recallable observation car, all in this new livery of green. Because, 
green is going to basically be the more standard color for Express Passenger Train uh, for this future. Plus, this Atlantic's able to go at 62 miles an hour and has much more horsepower compared to many of the other locomotives. Greenwood is actually still doing well, but it needs basically more food brought in. But, however, with these longer trains containing more heavier cars, these locomotives can, most of my engines can now basically be able to handle these longer freight trains and go at much higher speeds. Speaking of speeds, the passenger cars on both of these will also be replaced. They still have the same 440 unit capacity, but however, they're going to basically be the no center baggage car variant with a combination. Same for this one as well. And both with several passenger coaches and an observation car. Twenty five thousand, well, twenty five point eight million. Not to mention, some of my vehicles are not basically at a high maintenance rate. Speaking of which, while this is going on, let's have a look at our headquarters. Woo-wee! 560 million in company value. Although our prof we may have now our profits are were at 95.7, but we're still doing fine. According to HQ, we are at 16. I might have to recheck what my tasks are for this particular one. But with no debts, we are actually doing pretty well. Though we've been making a bit of an eight point a, a seven point twenty eight million dollar loss. But however, so far we've been able to transport over fifty four thousand units of cargo and nearly eight thousand passengers. It's surprising how much this company has grown in the last 50 years. Well, in the last 50 years. And, oh no. Train 3 and 4 are blocked. Hmm. I think... Let's see. I think I might have to read the some stops. But we'll wait and see. But, however, I think with all said and done, I believe we've reached a good ending point for today's episode. And let's... Oh! Richland now needs cigarettes and construction materials. Speaking of which, let's have a look at some of our profits. We're still doing well on a freight train, an express train... A local passenger train, our ships, our freight transport vehicles, our buses and trolleys are all still making a profit. Great. So with that out of the way, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe at Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!